<laughs> I don't know. It's just <laughs> I hate doing these things. They're like stupid, kind of. Hi, welcome back. <laughs> She's here. I know you guys don't want to see me. You want to see her. What? Hmm? Let me ask you okay. a question. <laughs> close, your, um, close your, I don't know, face. Let me ask you a question. What? What is your question? Why did you pick a foreigner instead of a Filipino? Uh, just because my bad experience. What bad experience? Wow. <laughs> The dog just jumped over the fence. A about little. the Filipino guy. And what happened? Mm, my my son, father. Yeah. Is cheated on me. Doggy, come here. Come on here. He's happy. He just jumped the fence. How can that little dog <laughs> jump that fence? Yeah, he always do that. Jump. Okay. Let's start. Good go. Um, I'm 20, 20, 22 years old when I met him. No, you're younger than that. 20. I forgot. And I decided to go to another country for... You didn't decide. He asked you to go. Tell the truth. Yeah, but I also wanted because I have. we have a plan. And, have... and what was the plan? plan to get married and and what happened and what happened after two years in Singapore and I found out that he is he is what he's have another woman mm -hmm. and what about all the money you sent for your all plans the yeah nothing I just said give it give the money to him and nothing nothing happened. did you give the money or he took the money I just give the money to him because I trust him and I'm I don't expect what is have happened because I know or I'm sh uh, what, sure is that the the right word <laughs> I thought yeah I thought that he is the he is my forever <laughs> but it's not and so what happened when you came back to the Philippines yeah, I found out that he have another woman. But did you find out after you gave him all your money or before? After. Did you get your money back? Of course not. It's not no more. It's mm. gone. It's mm. gone. Ay ay ay. Doggy, what's wrong with you? Yuck you, yuck. You can't see the dog. The dog's <laughs> rolled in cow poop. Jumping fences, he's crazy. The dog's crazy. And I have one another relationship and it's also failed. So when I met David What happened? What happened is it's like I already feel that this David is my my forever. Yeah, but that really doesn't matter because she was wrong twice before me. Yeah, the people is always have mistake. It's not perfect, diba? No. Also, the just so you know, a lot of people come here to, to see their girlfriend. They have long distance relationship and blah, blah, blah. Nine times out of ten, that's not the girl you're going to wind up with because the reality does not meet the fantasy. So you probably won't, if you're coming here to see your LDR, probably not gonna marry her. Probably not gonna be with her because the reality of the fantasy of you made in your mind is, isn't gonna be true. So it isn't gonna work. So don't be surprised if you come here and wind up with somebody else. It's just like me, I've been here seven years. I had three girlfriends before I met Rose. The first one, I was mean to. She was a very good person, but I wasn't ready. Why enough. you're so mean? Because I'm just, you're so, you're just mean. I'm just mean. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just mean. The second one, I was with her for two years and she, she, she stayed with me. She met me. I was disabled because I've been disabled the whole time I lived in, in the Philippines. But 
a friend of mine came from America, a white guy, and she slept with him and got pregnant by him and moved in with him because she thought it was the better option. Two months after she found out she was pregnant, he ran off to the Dominican Republic and left her alone. But it's a good thing anyway. Sometimes you have to understand the universe knows what's going on and the universe tries to correct things. I found out later she was, she cheated on him. She cheated on, on everybody that she knew. She cheated with her friends, boyfriends. She cheat. She was just a cheat. She she had more than one boyfriend. It wasn't just him. She and had now, more. Hmm? And now what happened to her? Now she lives in the province and she's poor and and she has a kid. And she's they, still single. Of course she's still single. Who wants her? Nobody. And then the next is. <laughs> <laughs> the next one the next is. told me she had one kid and she had three and and you I love, I, love her I liked her a lot we got along very well but she was also married I found out later <laughs> is she married? yeah oh, okay. and so that didn't She's work out but the nice thing about the Philippines is there's so many women here. When I broke up with the first girl I talk, talked about, a week later I met another girl. After I broke up with that girl, I met a week later. And then after I broke up with that one, I met Rose after one day. First day I met her, I liked her because she had her own house. She had... Uh, only one kid instead of three or four or five, six, seven or eight. She only had one. So I just figured that anybody that was smart enough to take their money and build their own house was somebody I wanted instead of, and she was older. I wanted, all the girls I had before were in their 20s. But I figured that was just part of the problem when they're stupid. She was old. She, was, she wasn't that old. She was 33 when I met her, right? Yeah. 33 so but she she had been around the world and she'd seen a little bit more so I figured I'd give it a chance and it's worked out so far it's worked out for me I'm not sure it's worked out for her <laughs> has it worked out for you of course how many years we have together not that long maybe a hundred <laughs> you feel it's a hundred already yes it's a hundred years we've been together a hundred, hundred days or more. But you feel like a hundred years. Because we don't, like you're not going somewhere, I'm not going somewhere, I'm not go to work. We just, every day together, right? Every day together, all day together. Yeah, all day, all night. Sometimes all night, she likes to sleep on the couch a lot. Yeah, <laughs> when I'm mad. And she's always mad. But now I don't sleep on the couch. Yeah? But she complains about the TV being <laughs> on. Yeah, because David does not sleep without TV. I can't sleep without the TV. And I can't sleep when it's hot. So the problem is when I wake up, it's hot. And the window is open and she doesn't close and she turns off the air conditioner. Yeah, but it's the night time. It's not too, it's not hot. It's not hot at night, but it gets hot very quickly in the morning. Yeah. What else you want to talk about? Mm -hmm. Listen, the guy, a guy um, left a message that he's looking for some girl to take care of him. Listen, you can't, you can't meet some girl online when you're in America. Take the time, come out here, and meet these people. There's plenty of girls here that can help you. You don't have to be alone. You don't have to be in a nursing home. There are plenty of girls here that'll marry you, and if they don't want to marry you, you can hire them as a caregiver for small money, and they'll, have, they'll take care of you. And the nice thing about when you're here, you're also, when you get married, you're married to the family, so you have a lot of same as like having grandkids. You have a lot of uh, sister-in-laws, brother-in-laws, aunt-in-laws, cousins-in-laws. You can have a nice life here. That's yeah. what a lot of people don't realize. You don't, enjoy be, it. don't be scared to come to the Philippines. 
it's it's the, everybody speaks English. But the one thing you got to remember about them speaking English, just because they speak English doesn't mean they understand English. They know what you're saying, but when you say things like, I'll give you an example. I told a girl, I can't wait to see you. And she she took it literally. She didn't know what it meant. No, some girls like, like they chatted like one week and the girl said, I, I love, love you. <laughs> they don't I say it in you. one week. They say it the same day. Yeah, I love you. Because How you say I love you to the guy? The, in a day. Yeah, because the day. guys are so dumb. They're so desperate. They believe them. Then the girl says, okay, send me thousand dollars and they yeah. do it let's build a house together send me the money I'll start building it and they just take that money and they give it to their boyfriend or their mom and dad and then when the guy comes here the girl doesn't even want to see him best you come here and meet your own girlfriend there's plenty around and there's also they're nice the girls are nicer if you come to the province instead of the city they have different kind of mentality different upbringing you know if you meet a girl in the bar in 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 the philippines if you meet a girl in the bar she's considered she probably is a hooker and a hooker a girl that'll sell her body instead of working isn't <laughs> worth having <coughs> <coughs> what say something <laughs> i'm thinking what i'm going to say Okay, here, here, I want to show you what she has to do every day. Watch this, if I want to stand up. Here. You see how little she is? Oh, yeah. Let me and stay there. Oh, you want to? I'm not good. She has no memory. Put your, the rug on your own. Okay. See the difference in size? She has to help me. See, yeah, I'm out of the picture now. Boy, it's not locked. Why well, you said? Okay, it's locked now. See, I have a bad memory too. It's hot. And it doesn't look like it's hot, but it's hot. It's very humid right now. So. Today is a short one. It's not the short, it's... Look, it's 13 minutes. It's 13 minutes. Okay, we have to cut it again. Hopefully we put it together correctly. <laughs> All right, well, All thank right. you for everything. Please Subscribe. put like, like and subscribe on this.